Hello everyone, my name is Dave and welcome to your second tutorial on how to build APIs with Laravel Lumen. In this tutorial, remember in the past uh, tutorials we've been, um, we've been building the microservice platform. Now we need to build at least one client that will uh, consume this API. We built the microservice platform and we have these endpoints built. So right now we need to consume, build another separate application that will consume this API. All right. So basically, it's another it's another separate application that will fetch the information here from this API. Remember, um, in this application, when we explained this application. Um, We've built, we have this, our database, we've built this, we've built uh, these ones, and uh, we've built these ones. So this is what we want to build now, the storefront or the, the client application that the user will view on their browser. So remember this can be a mobile app or several different de devices. I'm just assuming that since we built this with PHP, you are most likely to be using PHP. So. I'll be using PHP to test to build a sample application. Maybe further down the tutorials, we could build a mobile app that will do the exact same thing, just consume this API. All right, back to our code. I've created another, in my folders here, I've created a folder and I've created just one file inside that folder. So you have to create yours. This folder is inside my WAMP folder. If you go up, you see it's inside my www folder in my WAMP and make sure that your WAMP server is running and uh, this is my WAMP server if you, that is if you're using WAMP server if you're using any other type of server you can start it maybe a XAMPP or MAMP or whatever other type of server and then of course make sure that your your Lumen blog app is running so you have to go to your command line and make sure that you may navigate to your this path and make sure that you run this command to start your Lumen app. So once your Lumen app is running, we can now build a client that will consume the API. As you can see, this client is a separate website on its own and our Lumen uh, our Lumen app is a separate website on its own. All right, so let's start coding. So we have a PHP, um, and then we're going to attempt to fetch, uh, let's just say fetch posts. So fetch posts, we can, there are many ways to um, get, to consume your API. With PHP, I'll just use file get content. It's a function in PHP file get content. And then we're going to put the URL of our server. Remember that our server is running at localhost, localhost 8000. So I just want to add HTTP. You know why I know it's localhost 8000? Because when we run this command for our Lumen blog, it told us that the server is listening to localhost 8000, HTTP localhost 8000. That's how I know. And then uh, remember in our code, that once you hit the server you have to put api v1 which is what i have to put here slash api slash v1 then depending on what next i want to get so for me i want to get the list of all posts so we're going to hit using a get request we're going to posts index so we're going to um, slash posts index so like this we have our uh, we made the request and the next thing we need to do is to convert whatever we have to JSON. Remember that if I go to my web page and uh, I visit this just paste and hit enter, it will do a get request and retrieve the information. This is what will be on this page when our code, when our code get does file get content. It's going to get exactly this data we have here which is the data of our posts with title each post and body and so on so now we have it here we need to decode it since it's in json we need to decode it so we'll just do another variable uh, and just say decoded posts we'll say json 
the code is a PHP function for converting JSON into a PHP array that you can use. So since we already have this inside this variable, we can just quickly decode it. So we put another option parameter that is true. Now we have it. I'm going to break some. Uh, so I'm going to uh, break some HTML protocols just to show you what it looks like. So now we have it in our PHP. We can just quickly display it here. We can say uh, for each. Let's just throw everything out on the screen so you get an idea of what we're trying to do. So we'll do for each decoded posts as uh, post. I'm just forming all these variables as I go, but I, because I know that a whole lot of um, JSON data is already inside here, so we can now start displaying it. And I'll say echo uh, in h1 tag. So we're going to do something like this. Those are h1 tag. Those are echo. So we can now put post. Say post. And we get what is inside post. When we when we check out this, we know that there's title inside post and there's body inside post. And of course there is time and a whole lot of things. And there is views. So we're going to just quickly uh, check title. Just display the title. And uh, that's it. So we're going to go to our server. Remember that our WAM server is running. We use WAM server to test this. We are on Lumen. This app, the, the file I'm working on is in Lumen, index.php. And uh, we're using WAM server to test it while uh, uh, Laravel server or Lumen server is running this one. So we have two servers on. I already have my WAM server on. And if you look at it, I see that my WAM server is running. So which means I can go to my browser. I hit localhost. If I don't put the 8000, 8, I can just access Lumen test and um, index.php. So this Lumen test is running on my WAM server while my Laravel Lumen is running on its own server. So I have two servers on on my system. So so when we hit enter, uh, what we'll have is, hey, this is our first post, the quick brown fox. So this is the two posts that we have on our database, which means our retriever was successful. So remember what we did, just a quick recap. This is our microservices platform that contains the API tool. And this is a sample application that consumes the API. So this is a sample application that consumes our API. This is just a, a simple way to do that. So if I may just go further, I could design this to actually look cool, which means I can go to getbootstrap.com and uh, look for some samples. Examples. So this is an example of what I'm looking for. So I could get this. Uh, I will just view page source and then copy everything here in the page source and um, go to my code here. Paste everything. Oh my God. So I'm just going to copy everything. Go to my code. Paste everything. Then go back to get bootstrap and uh, back. If I scroll up a little, I will see um, exactly this is what I'm looking for. So we'll copy this CDN and um, go to the top of our bootstrap file and replace all these missing guys with our bootstrap great so we have this and um, let's check the bottom of the file okay 
All right, now we have exactly what we're looking for. The next thing we will check out is go back to the page and uh, refresh it. So we have this working for us now. So we're going to replace this with uh, the posts we have. So I'm just going to go to the top of the file, copy out this guy. I know that I used PHP to retrieve the posts, so I'm going to now use it in my website. So this is where I want to use it. So to use it, I'm going to delete this two and use one of them as a sample. I'll open a PHP here. PHP paste what I had and um, for which this as that. So I'm going to close the PHP here and. Uh, the PHP here so that I can write HTML inside so I'll just copy what I have here and uh, put it here replace this with it so the heading of the post is going to be PHP open tag PHP close tag I'll put echo post title and uh, there we are and for the body I'll do the same delete everything inside this p tag and uh, put body and for the time I'll just put um, okay so we're good to go like this and uh, we're going to go and refresh our page so refresh and it's refreshing reloading this page and after reloading we should see our post here as you can see we now have hey this is our first post and this is the first post we have uh, hey this is our the quick brown fox so um, this is basically how to use an API how to consume an API from a third party client and uh, the example I gave is with PHP I'll give further examples with PHP because we just used file get content in the next video i uh, will see other ways to achieve this much more easily and uh, more professionally all right so thank you very much see you in the next video and don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, to do that you have to visit youtube.com slash c slash brain then you hit enter and when the page opens you pan to your right and uh, hit the subscribe button all right to your right and then here is the subscribe button hit on it and subscribe see you in the next video tutorial